Try our new cereal, Mandalos. They're great. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Today we're going to talk about teams that need a boost. Teams that have kind of fallen a little bit to the wayside, we don't use them as much anymore, or they're very limited in scope, that I think only need a little bit of a nudge to start moving in a forward, positive, happy way. So uh, let's talk about that in just a minute. I, I actually did just create a... I just made a video called 10 Teams You Need, which is, uh, you know, at the other end of the conversation of like, okay, these teams are actually really good right now. They are, they're worthwhile. They, they could, they could, they don't need a boost, at least not as much of one, though there is a little overlap as we'll discuss here. Uh, so go check that one out. I think it'll be linked at the end of this video. Maybe I'll find the wherewithal to link it in the video description, but I somehow doubt I'll remember. What I, one thing I won't forget to do is say thanks to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. I couldn't do this without you. And if you want to support this channel for free, guys, if please mount the algorithm. Let's just do it, guys. It helps. It really does. It truly, really, really, it truly, really, truly, really, oh, man, I feel like I'm losing it, guys. I'm like I'm in a presidential debate or something. <laughs> Oh boy, let's get on with it, folks. Let's go. Whoa, we're we're in the game. But oh, this is mid. Whoa, Eef. Whoa, what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> ah, that's sad. Um, all right, all right. Let's uh first first one, folks. So this is gonna be kind of a sad video in a lot of ways because these are all teams that I tend to be very sympathetic with. I like these teams. They're good teams for the most part. And uh, Mon Mothma has been a team, man, for a long time. She she was a team that I, I developed a lot. I made a lot of videos about her. We, we did a lot of testing. And this is kind of the team that I... I don't know. I'm not much of a theory crafter exactly. I, you know, I, I, I can do it to some practical levels, but I'm not... You know, I'll openly admit I'm not just this this top top end theory crafter, but that, that it is one of the teams that I worked on a lot, and I feel like I developed quite a bit with them. Like back back in the day when we really needed a solid counter to Night Sisters to uh, General Grievous, this was the team. This was the team, and now. Now, you know, we're, we're like, oh yeah, well that's cool. Like here, let's just put Mon Mothma with with uh, Leia. Like, she can just be part of that squad. That's fine. Uh, Kyle Katarn, he can just go with Saw. Cara Dune can go with Saw. Pow and uh, Hoth Rebel Scout, uh, they can go to Hoth. Like, we don't care. Like, we'll just go feed them to the Wampa. They're just gone. Which is sad, because when they created Mon Mothma, they... She's like the first... Ga the game's first turd polisher, as, as I have started... <laughs> People, a lot of people call it that now, and what what that means, if you don't, if you're not familiar with the term, is it, it's like Pow was horrible. Then they gave him a Zeta, and that was horrible. And it was like I will bet good money that he never is a useful character. That their Zeta is bad. And then Mon Mothma came out, and it's like they custom built her to go really well with Pow. Like the 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 only way that Zeta was ever gonna be good is if they created a character exactly like Mon Mothma. And so the fact that she was created to make all these bad characters, like the peasant characters, good. And now she's just, uh, so, I mean, the good news is we're getting Luthen soon. And my guess is that he's just gonna go with Saw. Honestly, guys, I don't, I think Mon Mothma still could use a boost. But she's getting a little bit of love. That, that's nice. This team can do a lot. It's just... Yeah, it, it, need, it needs a boost. Now, here's here's one that's going to be controversial. I put this in my 10 Teams You Need video as well. And General Skywalker, man. Um, So, I mean, what's, what's good about him is he still hits hard. He still does some cool stuff. Like, he'll still beat a lot of the new teams, a lot of the stuff. But he's slowly losing ground. 
and it, I mean, the team hasn't had an update for years at this point. Like the last time it was updated was when they when they nerfed him. It wasn't really a nerf, but everyone called it the great nerfing. Like they changed his mechanics pretty significantly, and in fact, I think that buffed him. But people were pretty short sighted at the time, and they were just pissed at CG, like we all enjoy every once in a while. And so, anyways, he 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 was a good character, and um, he still is. The team is still pretty good, uh, and they just hemorrhage banners, man, and sometimes they're just not enough. Sometimes you just can't get enough out of them. They have their own node in Rise of the Empire, you know, if you don't want to work on your Bad Batch to those really high Relic levels. Like, really high, like Relic 7. Ooh. But General Skywalker, still relevant, still very relevant, and yet I feel like he's slipping, and... There's been no boost like that. You could you could call Captain Rex a boost, but he wants to be on every team, man. He's one of the most in-demand characters in the game. He wants to he wants to be on Mon Mothma's team. He wants to be on General Skywalker's team. He wants to be on Leia. He wants to be on Phoenix, which is what he was designed to be on. I think he wants to be on Saw's team. Like he wants to be everywhere. And uh, honestly, the General Skywalker gives up a lot to have Captain Rex on his team. Like he can't, uh, he can't hit back. For instance, he doesn't have his counter anymore. And so, I think this team could use a boost. Just you know, just swap out Arc Trooper or something. <laughs> we have to get him to Relic Eight, anyways. You can just swap him out. We're, we're good to go, man. Maybe give Echo something to use his his. Um, to use his worthless buff on. I forget which one it is that he can't use. But, um, <laughs> anyways. Alright, here's, here's another controversial one. Woo, this is, this is good. We're gonna make a lot of people mad. Uh, but, I mean, you can't make a video about something like this and just say, hey, Ewoks and Jawas and stuff. Like, yeah, those guys suck, but they need more than just a little boost. Uh, the, the Maldalorians are in a, such an awkward place right now, folks. They're in such a weird place because they, they got a nice little boost with Gar and ISC. That that was cool. And then they released Mar Moff Gideon, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, and it was like, oh, hey. It, like, they gave him some, they gave him some synergy with Mandos. Like, is that what we're gonna do? And it turns out Dark Trooper Moff Gideon wants to be on his own team with Imperial Remnants. He doesn't want anything to do with Mandalorians, in fact. He just has some, some weird color, like, flavor text in, in his kit. That, that's fine. But, here's the thing is, Maul wants to be, he, he's another one of those in-demand characters. He wants to be on a Lord Vader team. He's explicitly the lifter unit for a Galactic Legend. So, first off, that makes him, if you have that Galactic Legend, that makes him kind of inaccessible. Jango is supposed to be on the five-man, very specifically targeted trench team. Whether or not you love Trench as a team is another matter, but CG has kind of, like, Maul also wants to be on, like, an Ufu team. He wants to, there's a lot of different places he could be. And so, we're, we're double dipping, and, and we're in the, this position now where this team doesn't kill, a, like, it kills some stuff. It does. But with the current meta, depending on the vagaries of the meta, this team doesn't do anything. All you have to do is Daze, Gar, and ISC, and it's tough to give them enough tenacity to really make them impervious to that. Like, there's just too much automatic daze and automatic stun and automatic, like, they, they want to be able to shoot back, but then sometimes they just can't, and sometimes Jango's not around, and there's not another Dark Side Mandalorian. There, there's five. There's five of them, and depending on like sometimes there's just three sometimes you, you like have to add piet you're like congratulations you're a mandalorian for for a minute but this team could this team has it does some impressive stuff in fact it dunks on general skywalker a lot of times it does some really cool stuff and yet it just doesn't have the availability of characters or the uh, <laughs> like it doesn't have any teams that were like, oh man, that's a really big problem. Like, Gungans? Huge problem in the meta right now. Oh yeah, we could use this Maul team. Like, the, there's there's no teams like that, that the that the Maldalorians are like, yeah, we, we handle that really well. Like, there's just nothing right now. They're just... They, they don't... They, 
I'm, they're making me stammer, is what they're doing, guys. That's all they've got. Uh, Wookiees are a team that I know that <laughs> they're the pets. Uh, they're they're a team that have have been good in the past with the right Datacron, and the tar getting Tarful is pretty nice. Honestly, lo love to love some Tarful. Um, you know, Chewbacca is good, but he's part of the CLS team. Chupio's good, he's part of the CLS team. Vendor Chewie's good, he's part of the Dash team. Uh, Zelbar, you can have Zelbar. Uh, you know, you could have you could have the, the trash Wookiees. But uh, the thing is, this is a team that I feel like only needs one character. Like a, a new character, a turd polisher, if you will. I mean most of these characters most of these teams just need that, or they need like an Omicron, but they just need one thing. Just like one little boost, just a little nudge. Give give us like Gungi from from the Bad Batch and Clone Wars, like the the young Wookiee Jedi. That would be cool. Um, you know, he's got a like a wooden lightsaber handle somehow. It's very practical. You can tell. Uh, you can tell it's practical because it's wooden and it. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, Wookiees that have lightsabers have to be extra careful, right? Like, how often do you think they just, like, set themselves on fire, realistically? Like, it just just seems like a, one of the worst ideas. So, <laughs> I mean, one of the best ideas if you want to make me laugh, though. Anyways, we just need, uh, we need a, we need some kind of a boost on this team. Just one, o honestly, like, Tarful, made this team pretty good and sometimes uh, if my opponent has put enough investment into this team and they put it on defense depending on what the datacron is sometimes it is a massive pain to deal with it really is uh, the tarful is a really strong character he's just not enough to carry the whole squad and it's therefore not enough to sacrifice chewy chupio or vandor from their respective teams in order to give this team, uh, like, you just, it's not worth it right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, bounty Hunters, man. I've said forever. Uh, and, like, they're still a useful team, but they're a foundational team. Every Bounty Hunter is required for something. Like, they're all required as unlock characters, but it has been years since they got any love. Like, uh, was the last Bounty Hunter they released, besides Jabba, like, <laughs> Boosh? And then before that, who? Like Django or something? I, I guess probably Grief and, and Mando, but they're old characters, man. Maybe, F I guess, Fennec, but what do they kill right now, guys? They're, they're great early game, they're fine mid game, and then end game, you just barely use them. You use them to clean up stuff. You already have them relic because they're pilots and they're, you know, unlock characters and they do, they do cool stuff, but like, when was the last time someone, you were watching a stream or something and someone's like, oh, you know what? I still have bounty hunters. We got them, guys. We got them. Like, I don't even like using them to kill things in Conquest. It's like, they're too slow. They don't do enough. The Zam Omicron is dated. It's aging. It's, you know, it was, just, it was, it really helped to be able to kill Darth Revan back in the day, but it had, does nothing against the, the madness that is Malgus. We could use, like, all we need is, like, one character to, to super, like, give, give us, like, Asajj. Give us, give us Asajj the ha with hair. Harry Asajj. Or, or, like, young Boba. Or both. You know, I, give give us something though, please, because they are still very strong in the right circumstance. But right now they don't kill anything unless it's a, it's like, hey, my opponent was really dumb and placed the wrong Lord Vader comp. Sure, I'll kill a, a Galactic Legend because my opponent was dumb, not because they just consistently counter Lord Vader. It's a very tragic po moment, guys. Okay, so net, I, I don't. Ness doesn't have a place right now, and she used to be a, a solo specialist, right? She used to specialize in killing things on her own, and now she kills nothing on her own. Early game, she does well, and then eventually, she doesn't even join the Dash team. He's just like, you know what? I kind of just want 
like anyone but you like you're not doing that good and she just just it's very sad for her um I, even more than that though guys because i she only needed a zeta and, and you can avoid farming her you can't avoid farming wampa like nest is not required for anything wampa is required and is omicron is amazing early game it's somewhat mid game 3v3 pretty good stuff and i don't hardly use him ever on my main account i would love to see him get some kind of a boost where he gets in it like give us like a beast trainer a beast handler where if you take that character then a lone character like wampa can still use its abilities but then the beast master also provides like a leadership kind of a boost sort of like the way uh baby cal and his omicron gives a, a little boost to um Fulcrum, like, lets her use a, her powers on a full team. Let us do something like that. Give us a beast handler that allows Wampa to come and join, like, an ad red team or something. So, sounds wild. Finally, Bad Batch. Um, oh, you can't see him. Bad Batch. Uh, they're, they're such a tough team for me. Every once in a while, you're like, oh, yeah, Bad Batch kills that. But... When they were first released, man, they were so useful. And then you you could find a ton of different, like you could just add Shock T instead of Omega and you'd kill a bunch of other stuff. For a while, they were the toast of the town. It was like, oh man, Bad Batch counter everything good right now. They're killing Mon Mothma te teams. They're killing Grievous teams. They're, they're taking out uh, Bounty Hunters. All kinds of awesome stuff, man. Like, they, they were so good for so long. And now, what do they even kill that, that's relevant, guys? Like, uh, usually nothing. And they were just, they, they were so good, man. And now, now I just find myself just putting, like, Echo on a Galactic Republic team or something because his debuffs are cool. And it, it's sad because this team is a really strong team. Uh, like, the mechanics are really cool. It's very versatile and, you know, uh, it's just... They've just kind of slipped and fallen out of favor. And uh, unfortunately, they're not that old of a team, you know? They just... It, and the easy fix here, guys, would just be add Crosshair. Add Crosshair, we can boot Omega, or, I mean, you can even boot Wrecker. I, I don't, you know, he's great, he is, but with the right with the right team, I mean, really, you just boot Omega. Like, unfortunately, she's really good. Way better than people give her credit for, but she's also not Galactic Republic, which is a total joke. <laughs> it's really sad. Anyways, folks, um, that's, that's it. Give us Crosshair boost the team a little bit i don't know how it would boost it but that would be awesome G give us something guys uh the mall team give us I, I guess that was like the one thing i didn't address just give us a node to unlock pre vizsla on mandalore i feel like that's what they're planning anyways but just do it cg that way we could be along our happy with merry ways and that's it, folks. Um, ETH needs more than just a little boost. So I'll leave you here. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.